Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to talk about how to set up two-factor authentication on Dropbox. Now two-factor authentication means that in order to log into your Dropbox account either through the web or install it on a new computer or whatever, you're going to need two pieces of information. First, your username and password like you've always needed, but you'd need now, you would need something else. So the way Dropbox is set it up, you need either to be able to have it text message you a code or use an, an authenticator type application and we're going to talk about that in a second. So here's how to set it up. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you're running the latest version of Dropbox. So if I move my mouse and highlight and hover over the Dropbox icon on my Mac it's up here at the top on Windows it'll be down at the bottom in the system tray you can see that I'm on version 1.4.12 at the time of recording this and that is actually not uh, recent enough. You need to either be running one of the experimental builds from the forum or you need to update to 1.4.17. That's the version that has tooth factor authentication. So in my case, I need to either wait a couple days for them to auto update me or what I can do is I can flip over here to my web browser and go here to dropbox.com slash install and you can see here I can download 1.4.7 so I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna bore you with the watching me install a new version of Dropbox and I'll be back once I'm all up to date alright I'm back so uh, Dropbox is all updated and so when we mouse over the Dropbox icon now I can see that I'm now at 1.4.17 so that's where I want to be so how do we set it up now? Very simple. So we go to just go to dropbox.com and we'll sign in. And I'm just going to sign in with my regular username and password. And I'm going to go to my settings. And so up here you can see there's a security tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose that and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can see there's a new setting here now called two-step verification disabled. So I'm going to hit change to change that and I'm going to hit get started and it's asking me to re-enter my password. Great. So I'm going to, so I enter that and hit next. And so now I have two choices. If I use text message then I'm going to need to put in my phone number and anytime I log in through the web or, through, or uh, install the Dropbox app, I'm going to need to have it send me a text message to my phone. The other app option is to use what's called a mobile app. There's authenticator applications that you can use that generate a code. Um, I'm not sure which is better one way or the other. If you, if you have a mobile phone and don't have an authenticator app, I'm sure a text message is fine. Um, I already use uh, a Google Authenticator app for my Google Tooth Factor authentication. So that's what I'm going to show here. Uh, but if you choose text messages, it's the same. You just need to enter your phone number. So I'm going to say use a, mo a mobile app here. And I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to just use my mobile app to scan this barcode. And I'm going to say next. And I just need to punch in my code here. Now this is my special secret code. It's obviously going to be blurred out for you. You'll definitely want to save this code, um, maybe put it in your wallet or something like that. But you'll want to keep that safe because if you ever lose your phone or something like that and you need to log into Dropbox, you can use this code. So I'm going to hit enable two-factor authentication and I'm good to go. So let's test it out. So I'm going to hit done. And now let's try signing back in. And I'm going to enter my username and password. And now you see it's asking me to enter a security code. 255294. Here's my code. 
And I'm going to trust this computer, which means I don't need to enter this every time on my MacBook. If you want to be extra secure, of course, you can leave this unchecked and hit submit code. And I'm in. That's how to set up two-factor authentication on Dropbox. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.